In learning objective A, I want us to determine when a quadratic has one, two, or no real zeros. If you take a look at these three different quadratic functions, uh, we have this first, second, and third one. And you're going to notice that they actually graph these in their calculator and got different pictures. Now, first of all, we can tell when you graph a quadratic how many solutions there are. You actually see the answers, remember, when it crosses the x-intercept. So for this first one, we see at 2 and 4 are the actual zeros. So I'm going to write that down here under the zeros, are 2 and 4. Now if we look at the second one, we see that there's one zero, it looks like, here at the number 3. So I'm going to write that down. And if we look at this third one here, we don't see it crossing the x-axis at all, so it looks like there are no zeros. Now, the problem is every single one of these quadratics right here has two zeros. The first one, we saw both of them, which is great. So I can actually write those as factors. That's easy. The factors are x minus 2 and x, and x minus 4. By the way, let me show you, if we had just taken the equation, this is factorable. Let's review that. We're going to take the x squared and break it up into x and x. What are factors of 8 that add to negative 6? Well, that's negative 4 and negative 2. And remember, multiplication is commutative, so I can flip-flop this order. So all of this matches up quite nicely. Now, this guy here, though, when I looked at the uh, graph, I see one zero. There are two, and we need to find it. So let me show you on this one. We actually can factor this also. We can take the x squared and break that up into x and x. And I need factors that multiply to positive 9 but add to negative 6. Well, that would be a plus 3 and a plus 3 would work. So we can actually see where this 1, 0 comes into play. It's right here. Now the key here is what we're going to learn in this chapter is the word multiplicity. And again, I told you this one has two zeros. It's the number 3. But what we end up saying is it actually has the multiplicity of 2 because that 0 happens 2 times. Now let's look at the last one. This one right here again is a quadratic, so I know it has two zeros. What I'm going to have to do is the quadratic formula on here because this is not factorable. Um, I'm going to tell you that the zeros for this end up being... 3 minus i and 3 plus i. I can write those as factors if I want to. By the way, the factors would look like x minus 3 minus i and it's x minus again 3 plus i. So you're not going to have to worry about having to write factors with complex numbers, but know that's what they look like. Now, when you look at this graph though, we should have known that we knew the two answers were imaginary. Because again, all the real answers we see will cross the number line on the x-axis. They don't cross here, so visually I know and I'm guaranteed that they are imaginary or complex solutions.